So today we're in Workington and this is the stagecoach. Well, this is the bus station. There are there some people, they're waving. So we're going to have a look around. This is the bus station, it says stagecoach there. And so um, this is the town centre. These are the shops. There we are, the bus station. Uh, doesn't seem to be many people there, but they all seem to be looking at me. <laughs> So these are these heron foods, meal deal, subway. So these are like modern shops, well, I don't know how modern they are, funny looking shops. But they seem to be closed, so um, the only, there's a phone shop open there, you know. And Greg's. Seems to be not much traffic, so we might as well stand in the middle of the road. There's the High Street Convenience Store and Post Office. Lloyd's Bank. Red Cross. In these little towns, there's always loads of um, charity shops. There's a travel agent. You think they'd be out of business with people booking online, but no. A travel agent. And so you need a parking disc here if you park from 8.30 till 6 p.m. And you can park for one hour. There's um, spec savers. Seventh heaven. Boots the chemist. Super drug. Salvation Army, another charity shop, and next door the cancer shop. Savers, another like price reduced shop. So I'm using one of these selfie sticks um, because people complain. Oh, you put your finger on the on the lens, so, so avoid me. You put my finger on the lens. I'm using that. Bigger sale, 70% off. Sometimes I wonder, 70% off, so that means it's selling a 30% of what it was before. Sounds all weird, doesn't it? So there's a few people about. It's um, Tuesday, I think. It's about the 15th of <laughs> August 2023. So there's an unusual sight there, a phone box. Sports Direct, Holland and Barrett, Pound World. Bow Street, Po. So I'll have a look down here to see what's going on. Hills, that's a bookies. And I'll tip the camera up a little bit. There you are. So we can see a bit higher. Wilkins and the bingo hall. Brow top. So that's some buddleia growing out of the side of the building there. Eventually that will cause major damage to the building. So we can see how we just come off the main drag there and there we have it. Presume that building's empty. That's a big building, isn't it? So down there, I know there's a car park. There it is, a car park. 
And so you've got some windmills in the background there. Well, in the distance, I don't even see them. And so we're just outside the town centre. There's a funeral service, you know. So the reason I was down here, I once went here once before to it. There's a place called Trade Hall. It was sold under auction. I thought it'd make a great hostel. But anyway, I didn't buy it. And so I'm coming to, one of the reasons I'm coming down this road is to have a look at it. See what they've done to it. It actually looks boarded up to me. But we'll have to wait and see till we get there. So remember, do me a favour, put a like if you like the video. Subscribe. And maybe, um... Put a comment. So there's a bed, bed and breakfast, Osborne House. Remember me as once the Chancellor did check it. Osborne, no vacancy, so. There's a little bit of a breeze there, and by and by it seems to be not a bad area. Well, it's very close to the town centre. And so this is the building it, I was saying was up for sale and it is boarded up. So they are boarded up. So there's a door there, we're gonna, this is the social club next door. So let's see what's the story as we go through this door. Maybe we get chased. There's definitely voices in there. People sitting out there. So that's the, the back of the building is boarded up. It's be quite a big building. <laughs> Someone said we're making a vlog YouTube. Well, they're correct, aren't they? So there's a social club, Lives Sky Sports here. 